Also this morning, local volunteers are helping communities rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. Team Rubicon may end up helping out with Irma, too. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live for us at LAX this morning, where Team Rubicon is taking off on a chartered flight in just about an hour, right, Joy? Yeah, they are headed to Houston after the Harvey tour through that area. Certainly tugged at a lot of heartstrings and it brought a lot of folks together, including Team Rubicon. You can see behind me the area here waiting for this flight is just getting busier and busier as American Airlines is chartering 11 flights from all over the country. This one obviously coming from Los Angeles, carrying more than 100 people to Houston so that they can simply help. And I want to bring in one of the pilots with American Airlines, Jim Palmersheim, also a veteran, volunteering your time to fly this particular plane today. Why is this important to you? Uh, we're here to help. Uh, it's as simple as that. The people of Houston and the surrounding areas need all the help they can get. And, you know, for these veterans and first responders with Team Rubicon, the skill sets that they have, they're going to make a big difference. So they just needed to get there. And so Americans stepped up, donated the airplane, and we, we all donated our time to make a difference. And, and that's why we're here. And they're actually doing 11 planes, from what I understand, all over the country to get about 2,000 people down there. Why do you personally, though, why did you want to volunteer today? Yeah, as a veteran myself, and, and I actually manage American Airlines military program, so I get to see all the facets of what that entails, and, and sometimes it's not a positive story because the, the men and women returning from combat are facing a lot of challenges. So to see how our, uh, our military first responders can take uh, their, their professional skill sets, uh, these are professionals, and to give them that opportunity uh, here in the United States to make a difference and take what they learned in the military and help people, it's just, uh, it's just, how do you say no to something like that? So I know that they're going to do a lot of great work for the people in Houston, and at the same time, this, uh, this really helps them uh, because, um, look, for all of us, uh, to be able to make a difference and help somebody, that's the greatest feeling in the world, and uh, we're, we're here to help facilitate that. Well, thank you for your time and your service. Oh, you bet. I appreciate you. that. I want to get over here to Zach Olson really quick. Team Rubicon also not only made up of veterans, but a lot of first responders as well. And Zach is a firefighter in St. George, Utah, correct? Yes, that's and right. This is not the first time that you have done a mission with Team Rubicon, a deployment. Talk to me about some of the stuff that you guys are going to be doing in Houston. No, it, it's not my first time. I started with Hurricane Sandy in New York, and I think this will be similar to Hurricane Sandy. There's going to be a lot of people whose basements have been flooded, you know, up to the ceiling in water, and there's not going to be anything that they're going to be able to do about that, and that's where we step in. We'll be able to remove a lot of that mud, the mud, the dirt, the debris, and get all the way down to the the, the foundation of the house so we can see what exactly needs to be done for the homeowner. And I know I was talking to your group not too long ago about some of the, the logistic things that we don't think about. Where are you guys going to sleep? I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Sometimes it's a school, sometimes it's a gym that's let us use their floors. I'm not sure where, we, where we're even going to be. I, I don't know. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What, what matters is that we're going and we're going to be helping people that can't do anything for themselves about it. So Thank you so much, yeah, Zach. Sure. I appreciate you chatting with us this morning and for going Thanks. and all the help they're, they're going to be doing here. Um, obviously, the plane leaves at about 8 o'clock. They're going to start boarding in about 30 minutes or so. But just really overwhelming support. 2,000 people in all, Team Rubicon is sending to Houston here in the next couple of days. And they're going to make a big difference, guys. I bet they will, Joy. So nice to see a, a local organization doing so much good.